screen. So um, we are doing a combined front-end group update with uh, about the AC team and the DC team, me and Jacob together today. Uh, let's just jump right into it. What were the progress that we have done over the last five weeks? Um, mainly one of the biggest achievements, uh, which was a great teamwork over a lot of teams uh, and uh, with a lot of involvement of different people was the uh, move to headless Chrome in all our testing so that uh, we have now faster tests, we have more accurate tests compared to the actual rendering because Phantom was always a little bit off and there were a lot of workarounds, uh, especially for Phantom JS that were removed. Uh, Mike Grading is also working at the moment on a blog post, which I'm really looking forward to it, uh, documenting all the steps that we have done, all the uh, uh, big rocks that we have faced uh, over this process and uh, documenting this also to the outside world, which is, I think, very interesting on a, such a large scale. Um, another thing that we have uh, always kept an eye over on uh, improving the, our performance, our front-end performance uh, rendering time, so we have done constant improvements. Uh, in the past releases, we have done uh, bigger things like lazy image loading, et cetera. Uh, right now, we are already focusing more on uh, a lot of smaller stuff. So we have changed the way how language files are loaded, that they are loaded only the files that you actually have, that English is not loaded uh, additionally, et cetera. We are looking uh, very deeply into bundle optimization so that only the JavaScript that is actually needed on that page is, uh, is loaded. Um, and one big topic that we started uh, were inline SVGs so that uh, all the inline SVGs that we had uh, so far in Rails are now converted to SVG sprites, um, which is exactly the next uh, slide. So we have an SVG project, which is an external repo uh, for all icons and illustrations. Uh, the really nice thing is that we uh, were able to change the workflow over that so that uh, the SVGs are managed now mainly by UX. They can add the icons there, they can preview the icons there. Um, also, the front end ed is adding stuff, but uh, mainly the UX is uh, doing all the work on the icons. Um, in there, we are reusing uh, GitLab CI and CD for automatic optimization and spriting. So all the SVGs that are there in a the folder are automatically optimized. They are combined to one file so that they are in the sprite, which is then loaded much faster and is cached, and uh, uh, which is a great achievement, I think, uh, that we have this automated, and we want to even automate it more. And we have, uh, on top of that, we have also a preview application as one of the main things that you do during your uh, daily routine is uh, searching for uh, icons. So uh, on GitLab pages, we are hosting this small view, view and Nuxt uh, application where you can search for icons, simply click on it, and you can copy it so that you can insert it directly in your code and we use it. Also, all our illustrations that we are using and are in the rip at the moment are previewable. Um, yeah, uh, another big thing uh, that we uh, stepped into was uh, Geo. So the AC team is now taking care for the Geo frontend. So if you have anything regarding that, simply ping me uh, and we can find resources or uh, can plan stuff ahead. Um, another big thing for at the moment is for us hiring, and I will hand over to Jacob. Yeah, so uh, between the two of our teams, we're hiring two, uh, five, five front end engineers. Uh, we're revamping the hiring process. Uh, docs are forthcoming. We've already implemented in part some of this revamped, and it's already showing really good results in the candidates that we're getting. Uh, so we'll share uh, those docs uh, shortly. Team concerns, uh, Tim. Yeah, uh, still that's something that we still have in July. So uh, especially with the performance, we still see a lot of stuff that we can improve and that we want to improve. Uh, but uh, now we are getting more to the point that especially uh, stuff that we need also from infrastructure and the backend uh, that needs optimization like gzipping finalization, the CDN finalization, where we are very close to activating the CDN. And the other big topic is uh, resizing images. So resizing images to the actual size that we are displaying so that we push forward, forward on those topics uh, because they would be the next 
big, big, big steps to improve our uh, front-end rendering performance overall uh, and also reduce most probably the, the, the load that gets on our servers. So what are we currently focusing on? Those are our uh, quarter four OKRs. Uh, we have uh, one of the biggest OKRs is uh, simply crush 280 bucks and 120 new unit tests over both teams. Um, yeah, Jacob, give us a little bit of an overview. Yeah, so we're just uh, splitting it between the two teams. We did some, uh, for me, approximation, estimation, uh, and we figured this is how much we can do. So it comes out to about two bugs per developer per week uh, for the whole quarter. And we've actually been able to step ahead of this and we're getting ahead of this um, estimation. So we're, we're actually doing really well in this. So this should really just absolutely uh, tackle a ton of the major bugs that we're uh, having. And then uh, we're also getting ready for uh, Webpack by um, we're doing these uh, modules. You can see in the issue what we're doing there. We're taking the global code and we're making it modular. We have a huge list of things that we need to do in there. And uh, we're just kind of going through them one by one and taking the situations where the code is global and we're just turning them into modules. Um, and we just submit a merge request for each one of them. But every single one of these things will just make such a huge uh, thing, huge uh, improvement on our performance. So Tim? Yeah, uh, one that, that's the, especially the modularization will be a big step forward for the, the creating the next bundles, which is another topic that uh, I'm focusing on with the AC team, which is the library updates and the pack bundle optimization, which does, um, what does this mean? We are moving all our non-managed libraries that are still in the code base to Yarn. Uh, we remove unnecessary libraries, so we take a look is this by now uh, doable with just vanilla JavaScript, uh, et cetera? We uh, are in the progress of updating all these libraries to their latest version. Uh, and we are doing one merge request per library so that they are uh, done in parallel. Uh, some of them work like you upgrade them, works. Uh, some, uh, a lot of others are also like have major uh, changes because they, they are simply a little bit older. Um, but what we want to gain out of this is, uh, on one hand, performance improvements. Um, we want to reduce also the dependency trees so that uh, some libraries are dependent on a version of two and the other one is dependent on a version of four. So if we upgrade all of these libraries, most probably we'll get to the same dependencies of these uh, background libraries. Uh, we get a lot of free bug fixes from them. So I've seen already simply uh, with the first three uh, library updates, we have uh, I was able to close also two free bugs simply by doing the upgrade because they were fixed in that library. Uh, and we should be also able to get smaller bundles all over uh, this uh, this task because uh, a lot of, of of libraries are now updated to the point that they use vanilla stuff that they don't need so many dependencies, so uh, they're also getting sometimes smaller. And another big thing is then. Uh, after these two big uh, major steps uh, to create really focused uh, bundles on the specific pages that we need, that we do more intelligent preloading, that we do perhaps also loading only of bundles that are specific to a specific browser, so that we only, for example, do transformation of the code to IE 11, but only then if you have IE 11 and have a separate package. And stuff like that, we, are, we have much more uh, uh, possibilities in the future. Uh, as uh, uh, I said before, a uh, big task is the uh, SVG icons. But of course, this means replacing a lot of icons. Uh, and we have really, really, really many uh, references to icons. So our current target, target at the moment is uh, mainly to go from all the inline rails icons. So what was done before is that uh, each SVG icon was simply inlined into the HTML. What does this mean? So if you had the same icon, this was inlined like 20, 30 times, but was simply bloating the HTML size. And simply by having now uh, just a reference, we are able to reduce the HTML size again. Um, and we are also in that process getting rid of duplicate icons. Uh, we are updating the icons to 
uh, all the wonderful icons that uh, were created by Hazel uh, so that we have really our own GitLab icon set. And in the next step, uh, and also in parallel at the moment, we are replacing font awesome icons, which are like general system icons to become uh, these GitLab special icons. Jacob. And then, uh, sorry, yeah, thanks. For the uh, DC side, uh, we had refactored the issue comments in Vue.js. And the cool thing about it was that it was kind of like a seamless process. Most people didn't know, except that the, the issue comments just sped up a lot. And we have not been getting the same comments that the issue comments are slow and everything. So still the uh, merge request discussion comments are slow and that's the next big thing is to refactor all those. And that is a process that's currently underway to make huge improvements to the performance of the merge request discussions. Because currently um, for larger discussions, it's a huge pain in the butt. But once you refactor it to Vue.js, then you can begin doing a lot of the other um, huge performance improvements from there because it's a good base. It's a good foundation to work from. Uh, so that's just, a, it's going to be such a big deal. It's a little tougher than doing the issue comments because it has a lot more to it. Uh, but it's just going to make such a huge difference uh, for the future of uh, GitLab and the speed. So then uh, finally, <clears throat> There's any questions, feel free to uh, ask them out loud or post them in the chat. I'll give you a, a little bit. So thank you everyone. If there are no more questions until the count of three, I'm Glad to end this front uh, functional group update. So it's a three, it's a two, it's a one. There is a dog. You get the additional bonus dog. <laughs> See you in the team call. Thanks, everyone.